Now, how to define organic evolution? Sounds vague, but it is not. We can just define it in three words, and these three words are descent with modification. What does that mean? Descent means going down, and modification means change. So, passing on the changes that is what leads to evolution. Now, evolution is very intimately connected with classification. I will show you how. Now, say if you are to divide, what will be the first criteria that you will use for dividing or classifying, making groups, all these are same ideas, grouping, sorting out, this is what is classification. Now, the first most obvious feature is the cell design. Cell is made up of what? cytoplasm and nucleus. Now, there are some organisms like bacteria in which the nucleus is not properly designed, it is not perfect. So, such organisms are called prokaryotic, while the ones which have a definite nucleus and definite cell organelles that are called eukaryotic. So, on one basic feature that is the presence of nucleus or you can say to be more precise the type of nucleus we have classified living organisms as prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Now, among the eukaryotic the organisms can be made up of one cell or many cells. So, it can be unicellular or multicellular. Then in the multicellular the, there can be differentiation and the cells can become more and more differentiated, better developed and one cell organelle which is a very classifying feature is the presence of chloroplast. So, multicellular plants can be plants or animals. In fact, there can be that can is true even in the case of unicellular. So, this feature can be in both, we have plants in unicellular as well as in the multicellular. Then the among the animals there can be exoskeleton or endoskeleton. What does that mean? Whether the hard covering is outside the body or the hard skeleton is inside the body that will determine whether they are vertebrates or invertebrates. So, is that an hierarchy getting established? The simplest organisms were at the base and then the more complex. So, this is how we are able to classify on the basis of evolutionary tendencies.